Hi! We'll be doing um, some cooking lessons. Nothing fancy, we're not chefs. Um, sometimes natural style, sometimes not. Um, so, yesterday, Paul caught a skate or a stingray. So we'll be cooking it today, uh, very easy, on a barbecue. So the best food is the ones you catch yourself. So, uh, we had this in the refrigerator. So it has a very tough skin, as you can see. And we just like throw it in the barbecue because we didn't Google how to um, cook it or anything because he just caught it just very fast. So, and it's so delicious. We'll show you the end result. It tastes um, like lobster and scallops. The strangest um, bones. We'll show you that. But can you see my eyes? We did a photo shoot today with blue eyes, but I don't know if it's going to turn out. So I still have it. And... Two baked potatoes, throw on the barbecue, easy, fast, and lots and lots of garlic, and I crush it with my mortar and pestle. Um, this is a, only a small one. Paul won't let me bring my big stone one. And um, he'll be throwing this on the barbecue. Um, our cooking lessons are just fast, easy, we're on a budget, we're sailors. Um, and I'm going to do something with this um, leftover rice probably just butter and garlic and uh, we'll show you the end result and today it's really cold it'll be nice to do it over open fire but it's illegal um, in the wet Sundays here so we respect those um, laws so we're gonna do it on the barbecue and it's still gonna be yummy not as beautiful and think about all the no see or they call midges on the beach at this time um, you can see I, I got bitten a lot you see bites I don't know if you see bites. Okay. Oh, yeah, here. Right here. See? They love the Asian buffet. So I have to close the Asian buffet. Set. Okay. Paul? Okie dogs. Okay. Okay, here we are out in the barbecue. Just a bit of good old canola spray. Easy to clean up. I'm putting it on tin foil. Instead of using the barbecue tray raw and rusty and everything sticks to it and this is a classic shat on aussie boat i'm <laughs> working on it i've got projects on the go i have to stand and lean across <laughs> and that fuel can is empty so there's uh okay we get it <laughs> someone vomited on the boat lighting up the barbie you, you had to say barbecue uh, you said barbecue but barbie, you said barbecue okay. yeah but you said Barbie. Australians are supposed to say Barbie. I did say Barbie, didn't I? No. It doesn't matter. Okay. Alright. So it's a light. Doesn't matter about throwing these in now or not. Nope, throw it on the bottom so it cooks faster. No, it'll get enough heat up top. Okay. And this is the real hard part. You've got to make sure that you put them skin down. That's about it. It's all I know. I haven't Googled it yet. Mmm, I can't wait to show you the final result. They'll cook pretty quick. Oh, and the edges go crispy and they are just delightful. Here we are, the first lot's cooked, or at least from what I'm learning is cooked. So you can pull it. And the meat just just forks out just pull it out of the rib it's got like a rib cartilage or cartilage bones in there quite peculiar well, that's yeah it's like ribbons it's like kind of scary almost but so delicious well actually this piece does haven't got to them yet this oh is, yeah this is the outer wing is that black stuff like gonna that's be the, eating the skin oh I thought, okay, yeah, try to take that out. Okay, we're going to be eating it with garlic butter and some wine. But we'll wait for the next batch. Pulling the underside skin off on this one. A little bit hot. Sorry about the... No, not quite cooked to the edge. Okay, you want to throw it back in? Yeah, this is still a bit sticky, so I'll throw it back in. Okay, but so delicious. So today, we realized why the meat was so sandy, like 
um, fine grit sand. Whereas yesterday we had a barbecue with a fellow boater. Paul left it in a, a water bucket. The smaller pieces we put in the freezer immediately. So I realized it needs to be rinsed a lot more or just a bucket of salt water um, to get rid of most of the sand. Still yummy, but a little bit gritty. So good to know. This is the last batch. Oh, look at how Paul's um, tearing it with the fork. It's so interesting, the texture. Yes, it looks a little scary, but so delicious. You've not going to even notice the texture. And we reheated the garlic butter. We've been drinking cheap cast wine in Australian Woodstock. And what we've learnt with this is you're better off to overcook it, unlike a lot of other meats. Overcooking this little, it just turns so soft and falls off the bone. Yeah, even I agree. So that, se that seals the deal. <laughs> and show them the bone. That's the cartilage. Oh, cartilage, cartilage. It's so odd. And actually the cartilage with the um, skin for me tastes like cuttlefish. And you know, the dry fish that ate. If you like Gypsy Christine channel, please click subscribe. I'll show you more fun, crazy adventure travel videos. And thank you for watching.